Star Wars 7x7 episode 1772. Today, my interview with Lauren Peterson, one of the founding members of Industrial Light and Magic. Punch it! Hey Rebel Razor, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode where I'm going to share another one of my interviews from Star Wars Celebration Chicago. First though, I do want to say thank you very much to Adil Burney and to Jeffrey Hoban, both of whom became patrons of the show at the One with the Force level. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Every single patron of the show makes this possible, and I'm so grateful for your support. And if you are not yet supporting the show yourself, then I hope you will consider doing that. Check out patreon.com slash SW7X7. You're going to hear me <laughs> yap about that again in a moment. But first, let me tell you about Lauren Peterson in case you are unfamiliar with the name. So here's his official biography. Lauren Peterson is one of the founding members of Industrial Light and Magic. He was hired by George Lucas to create the models for the first Star Wars movie in 1975. Way back in 1975, he was hired. In 78, Peterson was invited by Lucas to oversee the entire production of models for The Empire Strikes Back. His signature is evident on nearly every model used in the original trilogy. Peterson's work is also showcased in the entire Star Wars saga, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, for which he won an Academy Award, incidentally, uh, Jurassic Park, Men in Black, Galaxy Quest, and the Pirates of the Caribbean films. So, yeah, big deal, right? And he is also the author of Sculpting a Galaxy, which is a book that takes you inside the model shop. And, yeah, we're talking legendary, okay? So he's just hanging out at Star Wars Celebration Chicago, which is amazing. And so I got the chance to talk with him. And it's funny because when... I was doing these interviews, you know, the introductory thing was to say, what's your name and what's your Star Wars claim to fame? And it seems rather ridiculous to ask that question of someone like Lauren Peterson. So you'll hear me ask him what's his name on camera and I'm kind of giggling at it because I know how silly it is to ask and yet Lauren is very game for it and really gave a beautiful answer and to the whole question of when it comes to Star Wars, what do you know for sure? So I hope you very much enjoy the interview, which will be coming up right after the break here. So stay tuned for it. And before we go, I will also say as normal for all the episodes, thank you so much for joining me for it. And may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Now stay tuned after a brief break, my interview with Lauren Peterson. Hey there. If you're enjoying all the coverage that I'm bringing you from Star Wars Celebration and what I do every single day for you at Star Wars 7x7, I hope you'll consider putting something in the tip jar at patreon.com slash SW7x7. $1, 327 501 or more. Honestly, every little bit helps, and every little bit is just as exciting as every other little bit. Please consider supporting me in the work of delivering Star Wars stories and interviews to you on a daily basis at patreon.com slash SW7X7. Hi there. Uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is Lauren Peterson. Uh, I was the uh, chief model maker and supervisor on uh, all six of the original Star Wars films and Indiana Jones films and various things like that over about 35 years. Thank you so much for everything that you've done oh, sure. for everyone in this building and all over the uh, world. So here's a big question. Uh, when it comes to Star Wars, what do you know for sure? Well, I, I, I know for sure that uh, at least in my, any of my participation, all the time I was there, it was creative. Creative was a word that would probably pop out. Um, we always, it's, in a way, we always knew that uh, you know, time, money, and quality, quality always won out. You know, uh, every, we had definitely had to pay attention to budgets and all that kind of thing, and schedules. But uh, George responded to quality and creativity uh, as you think he would, you know. And that was always the um, the top of everybody's mind, you know. And in some ways, if you know somebody said uh, it has to be on the stage in the morning, and it didn't have that absolute, it needed that extra little three hours to give it that extra little, little, little. Model makers just stay and do it. You know? 
and uh, no matter what. Okay. And, and they, they didn't want to be the one that put something that was compromised on the stage. And it was almost like amongst your peers, too. Mm -hmm. You didn't want to have that happen amongst your peers. You know, you were doing this work that was kind of cl more kludged together and wasn't as, as wonderful as everybody else was doing. But I, I was lucky I got to, I got to make things uh, over and over and over again for 30 some years with that kind of a feeling in it. You know, it had to be really interesting, creative, and, and new, and, and, and uh, new innovations, or using materials, having ways of doing it that were like another step up from what it was before, that kind of thing. But creativity would be the, the word that you, know, you would probably put above Star Wars. And uh, uh, creativity at all the levels of all the different people that were involved. You know, I, the, the building, uh, ILM was just amazing, the, the variety of different people that had different skills and were creative at their own. You know, I, I use as an example, one time uh, I had gotten a lot of uh, uh, research uh, stuff from the library. Uh, we have a very complete library and I wanted rolling stock or railroad stock in India in the late 19th century. And I wanted all the pictures and writing. And one of them um, was in this article that was in uh, either Urdu or Hindi. I had no idea which which one it was. And I got on the intercom and I just said, "Is there anybody who speaks Urdu or Hindi in the in the building?" And uh, Christy McCarthy came on and said, "I speak Urdu and Hindi. I lived in India for nine years." I said, "Well, come on up." <laughs> you know, so it was it was like that was the kind of environment that we lived in. You could you could find somebody with a graduate degree in chemistry when you had that kind of question. So uh, I would have to say that we had a building full of people that kind of bubbled uh, creativity. That's a wonderful answer. Thank you so oh, much okay. for your time. Oh, good. Thank you very much. This podcast is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox. It is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other related Star Wars items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2019 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.